So I'm watching Nemo with the kids again, and I was struck this time by the symbiotic relationship between the clownfish and the anemone, right? I mean, in the real world, obviously the clownfish can coexist with the anemone and not get stung because the clownfish is, uh, is uh, battling against all these little nefarious creatures that would come and eat the anemone's tentacles, but the anemone is allowing the clownfish to hide from its predators. So they have this mutual relationship. And I was thinking about symbiosis, or the symbiotic relationships that are all around our planet. So I went on Wiki and I looked up symbiosis, and the first thing it jumps to is this notion of co-evolution. You see, it's because symbiotic relationships are everywhere. I mean, obviously the coral reef ecosystem would not work if the certain algaes and the certain microorganisms didn't coexist and help produce the coral reefs. Or I look at the land ecosystems. I've got to have plants that, 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 that work with the carbon, right? I've got to have the fungi that are bringing the minerals out of the ground. I've got to have all these different symbiotic relationships with just, think of different plants and insects. I mean, there's a lot of different flowering plants that are only pollinated in connection with one, one type of insect. And you have just multitudes of these different relationships, all the way down to the, the uh, microorganisms in herbivores' stomachs that help them digest plant foods. None of these things would exist but for each other. They're totally interdependent, and they totally rely on each other for their mutual survival. You understand where I'm going. Symbiosis. Well, the first thing I read about is this notion of co-evolution, which says not only is evolution profound, and that evolution has to produce better and better and better organisms over time, but I have to have, in many cases, the same thing happening with their partners, with that they're totally interdependent with and, and, and totally mutually reliant upon. I have to have these co-evolutionary relationships, not just single evolutionary relationships, or none of this planet works. And I was very struck by that, because it really was only about three sentences that was even given to this whole notion of co-evolution in symbiosis. And I thought, that's something, more, something uh, that we should really dig into a little bit more. Because all of these symbiotic relationships all came about all of a sudden together in an interdependent way. And I would ask the naturalist, the materialist, to explain how that incredible design, that incredible interdependency occurred in the first place.